are Nikki and Carlo and our family live in Positano, Italy, nearly 500 steps from the road but surrounded by fruit and olive trees and with a fabulous view. Our garden overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what life is really like on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. Hello. Everywhere. We thought we would do something different today. We thought we would tell you how we came to live in this beautiful property in Positano, which is known to be extremely expensive. Did we buy it? Are we extremely rich? Do we rent? Is it his? Is it mine? How did we get to live here? We're going to tell you all about it. So first of all, who does this property belong to? Mio papà ha comprato questa proprietà negli anni Ottanta uh, perché voleva divertirsi nel terreno, perché lui, lui piace uh, stare nel giardino e coltivare le cose. Non lo vedete più qua perché oramai è troppo vecchio e sono anni che non viene più. Appena dopo ho comprato la proprietà io avevo pensato di, di farmi una casa e io l'ho chiesto, ho chiesto Dad, do you want a uh, building the house for me? And my dad said, no, no. <laughs> sì, lui no, non voleva perché aveva altri progetti, si voleva solo divertire qua. Questo era il suo parco giochi. And then I insist very hard. Uh, very insistent. Yeah, I, I'm very insistent, yes, it's true. And then uh, after a lot of uh, discussion, bit by bit, Brick by, by brick, the house becoming uh, a reality. So how did the house get here? Did you get an architect or were there professional house builders? <laughs> no, no, just uh, noi, la nostra famiglia. Io, mio padre e i miei fratelli abbiamo iniziato a costruire e solo diciamo per alcune cose un po', po troppo tecniche abbiamo chiamato qualche aiuto esterno ma poco poche cose so it's basically a homemade house una fatta da te casa sì sì esattamente quello mm. sì i know i'm asking all these questions as if i don't know obviously i know all the answers but i'm doing this for you guys so you get to i'm asking the questions for you sì solo solo per voi <laughs> <laughs> i do know all of this <laughs> How long did it take? Quanto tempo hai messo a fare la casa? Ma diciamo la casa in meno di due anni è stata fatta. Mm. Sì. It must have been eh. hard work bringing everything Nel down. tempo libero perché facevamo altri lavori. Questo è solo in, tutto il tempo ah. libero ah. in due anni. Il pomeriggio quando era d'estate che la giornata è molto lunga in estate e quindi tutte le ore del pomeriggio venivamo qua ogni mm. giorno, tutti i giorni. Everyone's going to ask how did you get everything down the steps? In majority, my and my brother's shoulders. And then when... Uh, I remember very well one time, dovevamo fare il tetto, no? Mm -hmm. E ci serviva tanto cemento, a lot of cement. cement. And then I asked for a donkey. And uh, this guy say, tomorrow I'm coming, but tomorrow never coming. Uh. And then <laughs> a lot of cement <laughs> go down by myself and my brother Luca, majority. Mm. And uh, yes, all day carrying uh, sacks of cement. Yeah. And how much is each sack? Uh, at that time, uh, 50 kilos. And how many could you carry in one go? In the start, one uh, at a time. And then two at a time. Okay, so you suddenly got stronger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then, at the finish, my brother Luca, three sack. 150 kilos. Yeah. Okay. And me, I uh, try for just one time, and then when I arrive here, I'm very, what's it, distrutto. Destroyed. Destroyed, yeah. <laughs> so, the house is very small. We, it's basically the one big room, which is the kitchen and living area. And then there's one bedroom, and there's a bathroom on each side. So why did it become, why was it so small? Why just one bedroom? I don't know, because my dad at that time voleva perdere il meno spazio possibile. Mm. E siccome c'erano degli alberi davanti alla, alla casa, lui ha detto no, questi alberi non li tagliamo. E io dicevo sì, ma mi serve un'altra stanza. E lui disse no, una stanza ti basta. Facciamo <laughs> come dico io. Okay. And then it's my dad 
Yeah, so his yeah. dad was sort of in control, so we only got one bedroom from it. But we sold that later on. Perché volevo la casa qua? Perché pensavo che mi volevo sposare, quindi a quel punto, quando la casa è stata pronta, uh, io ero già sposato e siamo venuti a vivere qua, io e la mia prima moglie, fino a quando non ci siamo separati. And then the house was left abandoned for around about 13, 14 years. When Carlo and I got together, we rented down in the town centre in a condominium and it was a small apartment, two bedrooms. We had no balcony. We had no outdoor space at all. We didn't really have a very good view either. And it was a long 13 years there. And eventually we did a calculation and realised how much money we had spent on renting and we had nothing to show for it. And we started thinking about moving. And I started thinking about here. And I said, let's go and try and live up at your old house. It's empty. Nobody wants it. We could move in there. And he said, no. Ho detto proprio così. No. Yes, because I thinking is too hard for uh, Nikki. Uh, doesn't like. But I'm steps. wrong. Very, very. He thought I wouldn't like the steps. He thought I would be stuck here or not want to go out at all. And it didn't really happen like that. I think when we first came up here to have a look around and see what it would be like, we saw so much potential in this property. And we realized that the thousand euro month that we were spending on rent, we could use to improve this no end and we could do whatever we wanted with it. January yeah. 2013, we started renovating. Now, we weren't doing videos back then, but we did take a lot of photos. First thing we had to do was sort out the central heating because inside the house, it was three degrees Celsius. E poi abbiamo pensato di prendere una stufa pellet uh, che produce anche acqua calda per i radiatori. E abbiamo pensato al pellet perché è una scelta abbastanza ecologica in realtà questa stufa consuma pochissima energia elettrica e tutto il resto è il legno, il legno pressato fatto a compresse che riscalda la casa, tutto qua. And once we had that sorted out, we decided we needed another place for people to sleep because one bedroom for the three of us was not going to cut it. We needed another bedroom. So we decided to put in the sleeping platforms. We put one above the living room for Sky. And the funny thing is Sky was only about 10. No, Sky was 10 years old. So once we put the steel beams in and then we put the flooring down on top of it, we ordered some carpet, but we had to wait um, a few weeks for the carpet to arrive. So I said in the meantime, Sky could draw on the floor up there. And she designed the whole bedroom. And I have a photo of that. She designed the bed with herself sleeping in it, her head on the pillow. The pillow next to her had a cat on it, a pair of slippers down below. There was even a bedside table with a phone charging. <laughs> We decided to build another sleeping platform in the main bedroom to get the bed up from the floor and free up floor space. So now we've got like officially two living room areas, which is great if he's watching the Grand Prix very, very loudly. I can go into the other room and I've got a sofa there and I can read or talk to my dad on the phone. And we've got two separate living spaces, which is really handy. And the other thing we had to do was lots and lots of painting. The house was pink, salmon pink itself on the outside. Everything was salmon pink and inside everything was very dark brown. Okay, no, non i muri, i muri erano bianchi. No, the walls were white, well, with scribbles and handprints. <laughs> and <laughs> Tommaso was quite liberal with his artwork when he was younger. <laughs> sì, dovevamo lasciare così, erano più artistici sicuramente. <laughs> But yeah, everything needed a good paint. It was just looking a little bit, oh, what was it you said yesterday? Granny fashion. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was a little bit old fashioned. Um, I suppose 80s style, but very, very brown. It is very cottage style, old cottage. Old cottage style. Yeah, <laughs> ma era bello, a quei tempi. Yeah, I mean, it was lovely, it was Stiamo very sweet. Stiamo parlando degli anni 80, amore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it just needed updating and I decided to whitewash absolutely everything I could get my hands on. So the kitchen cupboards, the doors, the walls, the ceiling, um, all the porch area behind us, it was all brown. 
so everything got whitewashed. He was slightly horrified at the beginning because he just imagined this whole sterile white house that we we're going to live in. But once we brought all of our stuff in, cushions and rugs and blankets and books and candles and stuff, it all brightened it up again. Sì, sì, in realtà ho pensato facciamo come quando io mi metto una maglietta bianca, vedete che quasi mai la metto. Perché se metto la maglietta bianca, dopo non un giorno, dopo un'ora è diventata schifosamente sporca. <ride> e, e quindi ho pensato, se facciamo la casa tutta bianca, sarà sempre a pulire perché si sporca subito. Invece, invece no. Mm. And we also spent some money putting down the wooden flooring, the parquet flooring, um, which really warmed up because underneath that there was pink and brown tiles, which were icy, icy cold. In fact, yeah. The little bathroom is the only place left where we've the original tiles are still there. And the floor is so cold in there. I mean it's great for the dogs in the summer, they love lying there, but in the winter you, you can't put your feet down yeah, in there. Okay. It's very cold. Quando siamo arrivati qua nel 2013, mio padre ancora veniva nel giardino e c'era una serra proprio davanti alla casa, una grande costruzione di leggeri tubi metallici con una copertura di plastica sopra che però oscurava completamente la vista dalla stanza e Nicky la prima cosa che ha detto no, non voglio quella roba là davanti alla casa <ride> e ci è voluto un po' poi abbiamo convinto mio padre di fare la serra da un'altra parte So eventually he shortened the greenhouse so that we could see out of the windows and we could have the sea view there was still this big plastic greenhouse slap bang in the middle of the front garden and after another year or so we convinced him to completely take it down and move it up behind the house so now that's why we have the big greenhouse at the back of the house in the back garden Sì, Nobody papà è stato contento perché la sera che abbiamo fatto sopra è molto più grande di quella che stava qua quindi yeah, yeah we can grow much more tomatoes now yeah yeah <laughs> And then the other thing was, I, I'll never forget this, I asked him, there was one year where he didn't plant anything just here behind us. So I went up to him that year, I said, well, um, seeing as you didn't plant anything, can I have that bit? And he said, well, what do you want to do with it? And I said, I'm going to plant some grass and some flower beds, some roses, some flowers. And he looked at me and he went, you can't eat grass. <laughs> <laughs> and that actually is a really good definition of how people look at land in this part of Italy is that land is a really useful thing to grow produce on so that you always have something to eat and yeah. what's the point in having a piece of land with flowers and grass because if times get hard you can't eat those flowers and grass so he was a little bit horrified with me but grudgingly, grudgingly gave me a little bit of garden and for years and years we tried to plant grass there and it never grew. We never managed to get any grass there and eventually we decided, well, if you've been watching for a couple of years, you would have seen that at the very beginning of lockdown in March 2020, we put the crazy paving down and put the decondra seeds down and created that little area there. And the swimming pool. Yeah. Prima erano petate. Sì, prima c'erano le... No, prima c'era la serra, poi per un anno o due ho messo le patate, quindi 2014 e 2015. E poi alla fine del 2015 abbiamo deciso di fare la piscina, ma mio padre già non saliva più. Lui non l'ha mai vista la piscina, l'ha no, vista solo nelle foto. Think we would have done that if he was still here. E forse è stato meglio perché lui si sarebbe arrabbiato. <laughs> Io mettevo le patate qua. Yeah, we actually had to dig up the potatoes to put the pool in, which was Sì, abbiamo trovato altri posti dove non è che non mettiamo più le patate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still plant potatoes, but we didn't have any that year. <laughs> Quell'anno non l'abbiamo avuto. Anzi, in, in realtà Luca è riuscito ad essere ancora più produttivo uh, di mio padre, pur avendo un po', un po di terreno in meno. E, e, e lui è molto bravo a mettere le cose, davvero bravissima. So, slowly, slowly, over the last nine years we have added more to the garden we've bought plants from various markets and garden centers and plant shops and we've brought them down here and just very very slowly we've made it into what you see today it did not happen overnight there's a lot of mistakes we've made like trying to plant the grass which never grew and then trying to do something else which never happened or putting plants in the wrong area and then not growing like for instance lavender does not work here We've tried it so many times and it 
The plants grow, but we get no lavender flowers, which is a real shame. È incredibile come un giardino può essere trasformato senza costruire qualcosa di realmente invasivo come cemento o altro. Puoi fare con il legno. Uh, per esempio questo, questo pergolato all'entrata, uh, quando siamo venuti era mezzo distrutto perché il legno uh, era vecchio. Noi l'abbiamo rifatto, è totalmente ecologico e totalmente fattibile senza alcun tipo di permessi e ha cambiato completamente l'aspetto. Mm. Uh, sono tantissimi piccoli accorgimenti che si possono fare, come comprare dei vasi davvero belli, dove metterli in un posto dove... Uh, anche se c'è il terreno però rende anche più bella l'area perché ha messo un vaso bello mm. um, yeah some of our blue vases are just spray painted with blue paint <laughs> it's just a cheap way of doing it sì ok possiamo, possiamo dire qualcosa come questo per esempio questo è stato un regalo yeah. è, è bellissimo puoi mettere un, un lumino qua dentro e l'accendi la sera e sarà fantastico yeah. but even just leaving like a basket full of whatever we've gathered from the garden, leaving it on the table or somewhere. It always looks pretty and yeah, I mean, we haven't spent huge, huge amounts of money on the garden. I suppose if you added it up over the whole nine years that we've been here, yes, it's quite a bit, but it's not that much. And we just sort of like buy a few plants in the spring. Like for instance, last year we bought one papyrus plant and then this winter we cut it into four because it got so big and now we've got four papyrus plants and we could easily divide them again and we could have a whole papyrus plantation here if we wanted. Eh sì, um, bisogna diciamo ingegnarsi, sono tante cose che uno può anche andare a vedere oh. su YouTube, non solo il nostro video, puoi vedere centinaia se non migliaia di progetti per fare qualsiasi cosa mm. e poi imparare anche da chi è, è, lo sa già fare. Così yeah. impari più velocemente. Anyway, back to the house. So we have been living here. Hello, beautiful. Hey. <laughs> so affectionate. Eh, yes, yes. Thank you so lovely. Here you are. We have been living here now for nine years and we got Holly about two weeks before we moved in. Holly just appeared and became part of our family as well. So she's, she's been, been here for nine years as well. And we are very, we feel very lucky. Some people in town think we're absolutely mad and won't even think to come and visit us because they're not going to do all the steps. But we think that we are really lucky that we have this property because for Positano to have a property with so much land and so much space is really special because a lot of people think of the pyramid, the classic pyramid of Positano. There's not much outdoor space for the houses there. They're all piled on top of each other. And personally, that's sort of the area that we lived in before, and it was very claustrophobic for me. So this is like, ah, oh, I can breathe here. I love sì. it. So I'm really è happy bene. here. Sì, è anche un'altra cosa. Se uh, vorremmo comprare questa casa oggi, se non era nostra e la volevamo comprare, ecco, non avevamo abbastanza no. soldi per <laughs> comprarla, no? non uh, per quello che vale oggi. Yeah. Houses in Positano are very expensive. The whole area is a very expensive area. Um, to put it into perspective, to put it into perspective, <laughs> <laughs> oh last try. <clears throat> to put it into perspective, when we were moving back up here and we left the rented apartment, our landlady offered us a special price on this two bedroom apartment down in the town centre, no parking, no balcony, no view, everything needed to be redone, the electrics needed to be redone and the plumbing needed to be redone and the whole thing needed to be okay, okay. redone. 800,000 euro, this is nine years ago. So prices have gone up since then, so I dread to think how much that's worth now. But that just gives you a very, very general idea of how much small properties are worth in this area. So there's no way we could afford to buy here. Uh, we're very, very lucky that Carlo's father lets us live here. Sì. Because nobody else wants to. <laughs> I'm very lucky people. Yes. Okay. Possiamo finire? Oh, boy. Sì. Okay, so that's the story of how we got to live in this beautiful house. Will we live here forever? I don't think so. No. <laughs> It's, it's difficult for um, 
for from 20 years or just from 10 years i don't know yeah we're, we're always on the hunt for well we're not on the hunt but we're always thinking about moving somewhere else where there's much less steps and the possibility of parking outside the front door yeah um, I, I, I want that yeah but i don't Maybe. think i could give up the, ha the point of having a house with a garden around it and being quite private i don't think i could live in a town again probabilmente ci dobbiamo spostare in umbria o in basilicata che i prezzi sono molto più bassi toscani toscani i prezzi sono alti però france france another language yeah yeah <laughs> just because it is another language yeah yeah so we're always on the lookout for other ideas and stuff and the house hunting is fun everybody loves house house hunting so yeah we we always thinking about it but we're not doing anything concrete we're here for now and that's what's important so i hope you've enjoyed this little video with this little story about how we came to live here all the photos we've shown you of what it used to be like and what it looks like now so thank you very much for watching ciao bye <laughs> Vieni! 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 Vieni!